Yeah. What it makes dependent is, is innate properties. So for example, we know for the second law of thermodynamics is that energy cannot be created or destroyed in a yeah, closed system. Yeah. So what we're saying is though, energy, energy changes form. Okay, yeah. but we know that there is a set amount of energy within our universe. Yeah. Whatever sure. you call it, quadrillion, billion, there's no such feeling as infinite. Infinite doesn't exist in the real yeah. world, it's an yeah. abstract concept. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. So what we see is if there is a set amount of energy that shows its dependence. Because why is it that amount but not one more or not one less? Can I clarify something? I, I'm not very educated on so I don't know. Do you believe in like, the Big Bang or something like that? Okay, so what we see is that we don't know about the Big Bang because recently science have come out and said, we don't even know about the whole Big Bang thing. But what we say is that we believe there was a point of start. So yeah. God Almighty willed it. Yeah. So we say, even if we do believe in the Big Bang, yeah. even that th the scientists believe that at one point it was like a side of an orange. And imagine all of this came from a side of an orange. Yeah, okay. So what we say is something that is has a will brought it into existence. It cannot come from its own. It cannot be blind processes giving rise to order. So what we say is, that's the necessary being which I was talking about. So if there's a set amount of energy within our universe, it requires it requires what? That is dependent, and if it's dependent, what did I say to you? Impossible existence, possible existence, and infinite existence. So what I'm saying is it points to the in infinite necessary being that gave rise to it all. I believe it logically follows, if you're a person of science... But I feel like that's uh, like a, you're leaping there from where like... Yes, that's a leap from like saying, oh, well, the Big Bang was you know, made by a creator. Like, not, it could, surely it could be from anything. It cannot be from anything. So let, look, let's make it a bit basic. Yeah, yeah. The, the, the Big Bang, it either came from nothing, it either created itself, it either was always there or it was created. Any other options? We can add them, you know, I'll add on to it. So infinite, from nothing, created itself or was created. Is there any other tr option that you can give? I can add it onto the list. Transfer, so from something to the Big Bang. So okay, then, what, yeah, what, so, what, so, so exactly, what's that there something? something there before, I guess. Exactly, so let's go through it one by one, okay? Yeah. We're gonna go to the after party after, yeah? <laughs> okay, can it come from nothing? Can something Arabic come from carnival. nothing? No. Okay, good, so we say bye-bye too, it cannot come from nothing. Can it create itself? Let me give you an example. Can my mother give birth to herself? No. It's an oxymoron. Sure. It's bad. Okay. Yeah, so like one of the theories of the Big Bang is that like the universe is like constantly expanding and then it gets so super massive that but, like but, a star right collapsing on itself. True. Back out. Yeah, but if you rewind out. it, if it's expanding, one of the reasons they say that was the beginning is because if it's expanding, yeah. if you reverse it, it was a sing there was a moment of singular a point. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. so we cannot say it came from nothing, it cannot create itself. Was it always there? Now, what's the evidence that it's always there? Do we have an evidence from infinite? Infinite doesn't exist in the real world. So can we say it's infinite? No. What's the only option left? <laughs> it's created. Remember, I said, sure. I said nothing. Yeah, is, yeah. It created itself, infinite, or it was created. I, 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 I agree with yeah, what yeah. you're saying. Yeah, you agree. We're, we're on, you're on the same side. Come here. You're on the wrong different. side, mate. Come here. <laughs> <laughs> there are no sides here. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. Joking, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. We're just having a discussion. But how would you then explain that yeah. link? So, like, say if we agree on that, it must have been created. How would you then explain that, like? that link to then like Islam and Okay good, and good question. Uh, so I've, I've, I've left religion out of it for a reason because yeah, it wouldn't sure. be right for me to start with Islam because you can come and say okay why Allah but not Jesus? Yeah, right. So what I've done is, exactly, yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. So what I would say is I can move on to that but before I move on to that we have to accept that there is a creator then I can say why that's Allah and not Jesus on the other religion. So can we agree that there, there has to be some form of a creator because we went through the options, like I gave you the conditions argument. Yeah, yeah, we went through it, yeah. there is a creator. I can tell you why that is Allah as Islam yeah. and why not Jesus. Okay. I'm sorry, I just can't agree on that. <laughs> no, why, why, why? What basis, Tom? <laughs> Tom, know, what basis? For me, I just think like, the way we think about uh, like the universe and stuff is obviously very like individualistic. It makes sense, like we, um, you know, you think about human beings because that's the life we've experienced. Yeah. But I feel like there could be um, other like dimensions. Of, yeah, other, like dimensions. Other, other, other forces and stuff that you can begin to comprehend with yeah. like our sort of brains and that sort of thing. Right, that exactly. makes sense. No, it like, does. That's why we say there's other forces. We believe that's God Almighty. Like, for example, yeah. the fact that, look, 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 the way we are created is quite magnificent. Mm. Yeah, we should be dead. Have you guys watched A Thousand and One Ways to Die? No, uh, it's quite funny. Actually. <laughs> I, it shows the different people how they died in different ways. But well, it's not really funny. But yeah, I'm just trying to say. So it's, it's quite <laughs> interesting. There's so many elements against us. Yeah, for us yeah. to be alive is a miracle within itself. So the way we're created, your eye, your teeth, your yeah. nose, your yeah. whole, yeah. you're a miraculous. That to me is an evidence within itself. But the way we put it is this: 
you guys are you, you're, you're a marketing manager okay so imagine you Im imagine you're a marketing manager you did some next level marketing that the company's profits quadrupled yeah and then imagine they came to me and said Ali thank you for doing that and you're like well hold on a second I did all that bloody work now this, the concept in Islam is the following we give these attributes that God has given to us and we attribute it to things like mother nature evolution big bang so what we're doing in a nutshell is we're seeing these things as deif we're deifying them because all we're doing is what god deserves the credit but we attribute and be like oh where did this come from mother nature what the fibbing hell is mother nature like how could this order cause order so what did they say evolution what does that mean what does evolution mean because charles darwin he was a theist you know, even though he, he evolution theory, he was a theist. So just because you believe in evolution theory or a scientist, so it doesn't mean you uh, don't believe in God. Newton wasn't he? Was yeah. Isaac Newton, yeah. yeah. So what I'm seeing is, believing in science and evolution doesn't take God out of the picture. Yeah. I so now, that. just to add on, I understand. Maybe it's a thought-provoking thought process. The reason we say why that creator has to be Allah and not Jesus, I'm going to wrap up in two minutes. I don't know how to do that. The party's starting as well, guys. <laughs> It'll be a halal party, by the way. <laughs> so what I'm saying is this. The reason why it's Allah, God Almighty, that we believe in, and not Jesus or Ganesh or Hindus in scripture, we don't believe God Almighty can become in the creation. So the Christians say Jesus is God. He walked earth like me and you. We negate that. We say, hold on a second. How can the one that created the heavens and the earth come inside his creation, eat and sleep and go to the toilet. That's not a creator that deserves a worship. The concept of God Almighty we have in Islam is the following. He does not beget, nor is he begotten. There is nothing like him. He has to be one. If he was not one, he cannot be necessary. Because if there was two gods, the question is, did God A create God B or did God B create God A? So he has to be one and unique and there is nothing like him. So now there was a study done in Oxford University by Justin Barrett. He found out that young kids who are not taught about any kind of religion had an inclination to believe in a higher power. So we say, as Muslims, that every child is born with a fitrah, which is your innate disposition, that when you grow up, you're like, okay, this must have come from somewhere. So as Muslims, we believe that God Almighty is one. He's not a man, he's not a tree. Anything that you imagine in your mind cannot be God, because anything you imagine in your mind has a beginning and an end. So in a Russia, that's what Islam is. I don't want to hold you guys too much. Look, yeah, uh, no, but but, but, but do you still feel like there's a leap of uh, leap of faith and going on? Yeah, please. So I mean, like I would say again, um, like as an atheist. So yeah. like again, a lot, there've been lots of studies done on, for example, where you're born has a huge yes. impact yes. on what religion you're part of. Even what family? And so yeah, so you oh, yeah. you touched upon that in saying that you know people are born with an atheist. I was born in a non-Muslim family. Yeah. I came to Islam. He was Christian. I would say yeah. I would say that like you know that's the innate human condition to question why we're here. Good, good, etc. That's good. So when we're born but, to like families like an atheist family or Christian family, we're going to be brought up with that. But yeah. however, when you reach an age of maturity, you start thinking and making decisions. Then you be like, well, hold on a this doesn't make sense to me. So I agree with you. But when you reach a certain age, it's upon you to question because I believe there's a greater purpose than us eating, sleeping, drinking. Because the cows do the same thing. The cows eat, the cows drink, they go to the toilet as well. I don't want to be like a cow. Do you get what I'm trying to say? I think there is a higher purpose for us to be to be here. But what understand? is it that you wanted to say? Because I, I felt like you wanted to say something about the innate belief in questioning and why we So have. like yeah. I would say that it's like the innate like human disposition and we can't deal with our mortality and yeah. the fact that we are so with such like a passing moment yeah. in time. Yeah. And I would say that like um, you know, people find comfort in, in the idea of religion. Um, like for me, we're, we're atoms that have assembled ourselves. We're experiencing ourselves as yeah. a universe. How how can atoms assemble themselves? Because what you're seeing is atoms. You're seeing there's there's a randomness. If you're if you're someone who's an yeah. atheist, you cannot believe in randomness. For example, if I flip a coin and I say heads or tails. There is no heads or tails. If we know all the factors of me flipping that coin to the weather, we will know exactly the results every single time. Yeah, 50 so, so no, 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 not fifty percent. It'll be hundred percent the same results. You know why? The only reason we're seeing, okay, is this going to be the front page or the back? The only reason we're giving it a chance is because we don't know the elements. If we knew all the elements of the angle I'm throwing it at and the temperature and the wind, we will know the exact results every single time. Yeah, so there is no such thing as chance. So when we talk about atoms, atoms, if you think about it, they are working like kind of um, the yeah, way yeah, they work. Yeah, exactly, moving Amazing around. Theory. There is order. There's not disorder, there is order. Yeah, there's order in If every there's order, there must be a designer that sets order. It can't be, you can't say, there's this, we're intelligent. For example, the DNA. The DNA has information. If there's information, there's intelligence. 
So we can't come and say, DNA chance. It's impossible because there's information. If there's information, there's intelligence. Where is that intelligence coming from? Because you know, my, my problem I have sometimes when I talk to atheists is that, you know when they say leap of faith, yeah. it's that, so you say that it's such a grand idea to believe in this creator and it's so magical, but then the religion is actually asking you to do this, the most simplest thing is to just follow up the logic by looking at the most um, easiest explanation for whatever we we experiencing here. So, for example, you're saying uh, that people tend to believe in God and it gives them some me meaningful purpose. And I'm saying, and we know this today in the world that we live in, with like things like fake news and all these misinformation yeah. is nev never helpful. No, misinformation can never, um, at, at least. Uh, on the long term, create a uh, uh, meaningful, purposeful, intentional uh, life for a human being if you're solely living on misinformation. There's a study that did, and we record a lot of studies, but that's why the reason why we call it a lot of studies is yeah. it gives us an, um, a snapshot on like how humans interact with the world, yeah, yeah. right? So there's a study done by, um, I forgot who it was, but he looked at um, Holocaust survivors. And then he found that the Holocaust survivors who had an innate belief in something like a god, it gave them meaning to survive the Holocaust, whereas those people who never had anything and believed were just atoms of things, they, just, they were destroyed by the Holocaust, physically, mentally, spiritually. Now the question is this, you as a marketing uh, guy, you know that if you devise a marketing plan, yeah. and that marketing plan is A1 and it smashes, yeah. then people can look at you and be like, well, you know, whatever elements that you picked up on were right for this uh, particular it campaign. It was intelligent, it was a very yeah, intelligent, intelligent idea. Intelligent, intentional uh, idea for the campaign, and that's why it was successful. Religion is in a way very similar, and it says that, look, this book claims to be from God, mm -hmm. and there are certain elements in this book. If you do follow them, there are certain things that is going to happen to you in your life. Yeah. So this is beyond just placebo, or just, I want to believe. Yeah, so you know? I would raise two points at the back of that. And obviously, okay. I want to be careful not to offend anyone. Like, no, 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 you know, you're, you're, I think basically your point is saying that well, religion helped them survive, and they've done better because of it. So clearly, there, it's clearly yeah. there's no, something right there. Right? No, 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 no. But remember what I said to you before. I said that misinformation or false information yeah. on, on 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 the long term is not something that benefits human beings or anything. You, it's it, the the way we determine reality on whether something is successful or even true. It's based upon how true the, the information is that you, you, you're dealing with. Yeah, but he's, what he's saying that yeah. if you say that, then it's a false belief because then it will falsify us. Because if the Jews believe yeah. that and their and God and existed, then yeah. it helped them. So then, 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 then as Muslims, I can say the same thing. Hindu can say the same thing. Yeah. He's saying that it's... No, no, no. But it, what, what is it that they believed, right? It, it wasn't interpret theological beliefs they had about how God is and the nature of God. It was just that they believed that there is uh, something higher, higher, higher being. That's what the answer was. It's true, true. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, that's, that's yeah. Part it's true. But I think that atheists can come back, if I'm being devil's advocate, and say, yeah. "Well, hold on a second. It, 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 what if they believed in unicorns and they got got through it? Yeah, they, they, they still could be like. Yeah. You get what I'm trying to say? It can no, still be used. Be no, but, I, but I'm yeah. saying it couldn't. How? Why not though? It couldn't because if they have a false belief. Like, for example, if if somebody. Um, I don't know, jumped and survived, and someone no, said, oh, it was an angel that... No, no, because there, there was, there's two ideas who were being tested here. One idea was that people who didn't believe in God at all, and people who just believed, like, you know, the idea of we're just atoms, and then the other set of people believed in, a, in so something... Okay, in, yeah, false. Yeah, so there's a false okay. idea, and there's an yes. idea that... So what can they say? I'm just I mean, devil's advocate. Yeah. You can say, well, hold on a second, that doesn't mean God exists. That means they find comfort in that God that made... Basically, did God make man or did man make God? So if they could maybe That's, come and say... No, no, you can say that, but I'm saying if you, if you, if you, if we, if we look at other places in the world, yeah. and that's what I'm, I'm saying about misinformation, you, misinformation yeah. can't help you. On, on, on a, on a lo but long but lasting... But you were saying it did help, right? Yeah, but that's what he's saying. He's no, saying that in that what? moment it did help them. No, no, who? 
the, the Holocaust survivors. No, but not those, the ones who did not believe in God. Yes, yeah, so, so what, what, no, no, what's the no, 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 what, what scene is, what scene is the following? Yeah. He's saying the ones, the Jewish ones who believed in a God, yeah. he's saying in his worldview, that's a misinformation. God doesn't exist. They made it up in their head and they survived it. And so yeah. misinformation helped them survive the Holocaust. No, what, uh, no, so what no, I'm no, saying, no. So you get it? He's not saying that. So what okay. I'm saying no. is that you, so, Tell yeah. me if I'm wrong. Yeah. So you're saying that the Jews who believed in their Jewish religion, Judaism, right? Um, I think the question, they, the question, they, they, they the question survived. was higher, higher beings. Yeah, okay, higher beings. But so this is where I'm getting a bit specific. So maybe yeah. I'm, pick, I'm, you know, yeah. picking it a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. But um, you're saying that the, you know, the religious people, and in this case, that was Jewish people. Yeah. They believed in, in their version of religion, and clearly that that worked with them. Is what you're saying? Yeah. All this study is saying whatever. And so then my question to you would be, yeah. well, how come it, you know this is working for them if you're saying that Islam is this? Okay, you're you're bringing in particulars here yeah. that, that, yeah. the, the, the that the the study the did bring. Yeah. Okay, oh. the, the study didn't look at that. It's like when the study looks at the innate belief in a greater being. Yeah. It's not no, saying religion. Allah. No, no, it's, I mean? it's, it's true. Yeah. But the the point will still stand, which is number one, that they still it still stands. It doesn't it's because, Islam, because no, no, that, but if you think about it, Islam, look, as that's that, not the question. That, that would mean why the Nias, like, if, if it was, then it shows that Muslims, their true God, no, no, they would. Bro, they, they didn't ask them about Muslims, nor did they ask them about Islam. No, no, no. Okay, just, uh, they did. Just, uh, yeah. They just said, a "Believe in a God." That is yeah. very simple. They kept it. That's what yeah. the study said. No, no, I, yeah, I, no, okay. I, I, I agree. But okay. what I'm saying is, atheists usually object to these. A lot, no, no, no. Yeah? I'm saying, I'm saying because I'm not arguing. I'm just saying yeah. that there was two groups of people. Mm -hmm. One group believed that. That's what the question. There was a higher being, and because the higher being is, there was meaning to the suffering they went through. That's mm. what the study yeah, is discussing. It's not talking about yeah. the theology, because when I, you talk I about can, theology, yeah. yeah. So I can absolutely yeah. understand. That. I would yeah. agree. But yeah. Hope is an incredible thing. Yeah. yeah. You know, and I'm absolutely, I'm sure that is true. But again, I, I'd say that comes back to innate human nature. Yeah. In that, uh, I want to believe in something better and yeah. higher. Yeah. And for me, that would not be religion. Okay. You know, and so for me, that <laughs> doesn't prove. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. You know, the yeah, yeah. No, 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 but that, but but you know the innate disposition that you guys were talking about, mm. and that you yeah. cited the study, that there's an innate position that people believe. My question to Aethid is, why is it that when it comes to things like that, that we uh, uh, we apply uh, gymnastic to like do the best to avoid the possibility that the reason why we maybe have this innate disposition because there is some reality to it. So it's, it's, it's like unnecessary, unnecessary skepticism to me at times. Yeah, and then I would, um, you know, for me, I would say perhaps because, Sorry, I, wasn't, yeah, no, perhaps because yeah. I wasn't raised I mean, I mean, in a particular sure. religion. Yeah. Um, I would say, well, why, why would I choose one religion over another? Okay, okay that's, that's, a that's, that's, that's a different. That's another discussion. Yeah. Why are you saying? Yeah. Why, why, now, what are you saying is this? Yeah, let's wrap you on this because I don't want yeah. to hurt you guys. Yeah. Hold you guys yeah. It's a more leap of a faith to believe that something popped out from nothing and created all order and us in this universe than, than to believe logically that there is a creator and we have uh, um, reasons to believe reasons that. To believe. Do you get it? So he's saying that basically as an atheist, you have a greater leap of faith to believe in something coming from nothing, creating itself, there's an order, then for us to be like, well, hold on a second, we have every reason to believe that from nothing, nothing comes. And we went through the argument, it cannot be created by itself. It cannot create itself. It cannot be infinite. So in a nutshell, what we're saying is, it takes a greater leap of faith as an atheist than as a uh, theist. Except I would, I would come back and I would say that, uh, fine, so you know, people might have that innate thing and you would say, well, that is, you know, Islam calling you or, or whatever. Um, but I would say, you know, if, we, if there was if there'd be a world war, right, and the whole of history and everything is lost, yes. right? Religion, all of religious yes. texts, books, everything is lost, yes. right? Like humans start over again. Yes. I would say, well, Islam, Judaism, Christianity, what they probably would Islam will still be there. You know why? Probably you know why? You know why? Back. You know, whereas the innate feeling might come back. Okay, okay. You know why we say? You know why we say Islam will be there? Not because of a miraculous, like the Quran would pop up one day. This is the reason why. Because remember, I told you about the study from Justin Barry in Oxford University. He said that human beings are inclined to worship a creator. So what we say that is to us that's Islam, and the one who does it is a Muslim. So what we say Islam, it doesn't mean exclusively someone who follows the Quran, because it can be that everyone gets wiped out, and there's one person on earth, and that one person turns to God, and he's like, I know you're there, 
and worship, we will call that person a Muslim and we'll say you're following Islam. In that idea, if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. that makes sense to you. Yeah, yeah. Anyways, is, uh, any last questions? Lovely. <laughs> um, it was good. If you have any questions, please let us know. I just, it's just I don't want to hold you guys. If you guys are okay, well, I'm here till 10. <laughs> but do you get the whole like... Um, going around the circle so it's like you're trying to tick every single box back the god where it says creating or creation yeah like for example so like, like not necessarily logical reasons but yeah. more to do with like you were saying because i just have the way i grew up mm. yeah like, but basically like you would like when i speak to atheists they will go with any option except god yeah that like, could be aliens came yeah. and then they happen from nothing but god no i'm like bro okay if you give chance to everything why isn't it okay maybe it can be god as well so i think it's just uh, yeah i mean i would i would I would say I'm like agnostic, you know. Oh, okay, good. Okay, you good. started off with no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> done <laughs> Repeat after me and you say Islam. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that'd be the, the YouTube done. Uh, no, I, atheist I, 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 becomes I, I, Muslim I, 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 on the spot. Of course, of course. I'm not. I'm not so like uh, confident or, or yeah. big-headed. I suppose. No, that's good. It's good. You're honest. No chance. None of that will happen. Yeah. Yeah. For me, I was still say I'm an atheist. I don't. Mm. Man, agnostic. Don't try it. Agnostic. You don't know. You don't know. I would. I would never say that. I would consider being religious in 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 the sense that um like in an institutionalized sense yeah but, but, but in the belief but, of like a, a higher power possibly, yeah but, but tom but tom you you do realize you are following a religion people people, people 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 think people think that religion is like um religion is something like for example you have a law you have a guideline to live by for example yeah you go clubbing you have girlfriends or whatever it may be, yeah, you're like a bit of a player here with your oh, friends. Yeah, okay, okay. Here, yeah, me. girls, you gotta watch out, yeah. In Islam, you actually have to go speak to her dad. It's not that easy, yeah? Yeah. So yeah, it's gonna be harder. So now the thing is this, you follow a religion. Your way of life is liberalism. You live by that. Yeah. Yes. So we say that's a religion. The difference between me and you is what? I follow something which is um, institutionalized. Same with you, there's no difference. But you live by a law. Is an agreed set of laws to where we will be able to better each other, right? Made Obviously. by who? By the government who we dem voted in democratically mm -hmm. and through, yes. basically through a process of um, evolution because you know, if you have societies that are going around murdering each other, they're yes, okay. sleeping with everyone. But that's that happens with well. democratic election. They went to Iraq and killed one million people. So if you were democratic election... We're going to get into that sort of thing. No, 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 what I'm trying to say is it happens. But so people dying and from... And those societies do much worse. Yes, point. yes, and but they, like, if, they, you look at, if you look at society now, people are less happier. Like promiscuity, gambling, murder, theft. These things are on the rise. Of course, but I would not. I wouldn't put that down to uh, religion. It would be my no, no, not religion. But I would say what you're following is a form of religion. You're abiding by a certain law. You can't cross yeah, a red light. It's not. It's not. It's not. It's not, um, it's and, not and, a... and what's the difference between what I follow and what you follow? For example, I choose not to drink because my religion says mm. you choose to drink because you have that freedom that you think you're given, which I don't believe anyone has that freedom. You have peer pressure. The people that you hang around, well, let's go to the pub, have a pint, a drink. Course, you're not born waking up with an alcohol. And knowing well, this alcohol is the biggest killer. But the difference is well, there is where I would put that down to um, like socialization and other humans, yeah. whereas you would put that down to a, a higher creator where you talk about, you know, you don't really have the, yeah. the you don't, we don't really have choice of free will. Or, yeah. No, 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 one second, one second. You, you say we don't have free will? No, sorry. I'm I hold this, but did you say we don't have free will? <laughs> okay, okay, let me put it like this here. The way I see it is like this. Every single one of us don't have a choice. And what do I mean by that? Look, we all have some sort of governing body or deity yeah. over us. So let me put it like this. How could somebody willingly go and drink alcohol knowing very well it's going to kill him? It, well, or it's going to destroy his life. Okay, whatever it may be. Because the social norms of t society today, peer pressure, friends, things that you watch has an impact on your decisions. Mm -hmm. How can we say we're free when we are told how to think? So the point I'm trying to say is the difference between me and you, I claim that I'm not, look, do I love waking up in the morning for prayer? Not really, but I do it. Why? Because I believe that if I'm going to follow anyone, it has to be the one that created me, not man-made laws. So therefore, I would say I don't have a choice per se. I do it because God Almighty told me. Now you do the same, but you don't have an individual telling you what to do, but you have indirect um, things that you watch, you see, you hear friends or whatever it may be, that have an impact on your decisions you make. So that's why I would say both of us don't have a choice. One follows society and one follows a creator. Okay. We agree on that. Yeah, of course. Okay, right. Yeah, in that sense.
<laughs> I told you guys, steroids. <laughs> yeah, what are you saying? Do, do you agree that, um, well, not agree, but do you think yeah. that everything happens for a reason? Okay, I believe, I don't believe in coincidences. I believe that everything happens for a reason. And this is very interesting because the concept that we have in Islam is that we believe God Almighty decreed everything. So argument said, if I open a shop selling trainers and 10 other competition open next to me, I don't give a damn. You know why? Because I believe what's going to reach me is going to reach me. Those 10 shops are going to have no impact on the money that's going to reach me. So we call that a risk. Meaning, I believe there's a power up there that's in control of my whole life. And he wants the best for me. Rather than randomness and random stuff happening and atoms and this, I believe this is just like uh, chaos. Sure. So, so are those yeah. decisions like set in stone even before you do them? What do you mean by that? Do you mean like um, so, destiny? Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, as such. So like, okay. if you believe that everything happens for a reason, surely yes. those reasons are already That's in place. And okay. you, can't, you can't change your life okay. because of that. No, no, you can't. So what we say okay. is we are compatibilists. So there are, for example, atheists, hard determinists. Okay, mm -hmm. so hard determinists are, like I said to you before, they believe everything is bound to happen how it's supposed to happen. Yeah. Because, and the atheists, they're not even religious, they believe in this. So it's like destiny. Yeah, yeah. So we believe in the same thing, but we also believe that we also have free will. We have free will to make decisions, but also God Almighty knows everything that's going to happen. How they work together, we don't know. But what we do know is the following. God Almighty says that he will never oppress his creation. So meaning that on the day of judgment, when people, certain people enter hellfire and certain people enter paradise, the ones who enter hell are those who genuinely knew and heard the message of Islam and rejected it. That genuinely, they heard it and said, this is the truth, but I don't want it because of my desires or whatever. But we believe as Muslims that if a non-Muslim doesn't hear the message of Islam, or dies as somebody who hasn't got mental uh, illness or hasn't reached the age of puberty will be judged on the day of judgment because God won't, it will be unfair for God to put him in hell when he hasn't heard the message of Islam so Islam has that mercy side to it Wow, okay, so why, why would um, you know, this, this creator, I mean, he's powerful Yes So why would he create us? Yes and then, you know, choose to um, ignore some of these creations and not let that message spread to them and they don't get to hear it and like others do get to hear it. Okay, so that's very interesting because the ones that hear it have a responsibility to bear. It's not even something that's like, oh, we have a responsibility. So when I heard the message like 13 years ago, when I was looking to the Bible and different religions, I realized Islam was the truth. And at the same time, I was committing certain sins for lifestyle that I was living. So I was in, in a battle within myself. I said, this is the truth. I believe it's the truth. I've done my research. But at the same time, I was having this internal conflict where I was like, yeah, but I wanna, I'm, I'm committing sins. So I had to make a decision of leaving that. And as a Muslim, I still commit sins to this day. God doesn't want you to be sinless. All he wants you to do is acknowledge that you sin and just turn to him in repentance. Just acknowledge him. So the question that you asked was, the, the point is this, Allah says in the Quran, we do not destroy a nation until we send the messenger. If the messengers reach you and you know Islam to be the truth and you reject it, you're in trouble. However, if you're like, you know what? No, if you in turn and you're like, you know what? This, this has to be from God. You're like, well, this argument say, if I made a crazy argument and I showed you evidences, let's say, and then you believe that and internally you're like, nah man, I like drinking, I like partying, nah, you're in trouble. But however, for you guys, you might say, for example, I see Islam, imagine you guys arguing say died and all you knew about Islam was that they kill people and they run over people. You're not going to be responsible because you're like, the only thing I knew about Islam was that. Why would God send you to hell when the only image you had of Islam was ISIS running over people or stabbing people on the streets? So God will test you on the day of judgment. And the test will be that God Almighty will have hell in fire, hellfire in front of you and paradise. He will ask you to jump into the hellfire. If you obey him, you'll find it to be paradise. Now this is very interesting, why? Because what it does is it shows your trust with him. Like you don't see him and he's telling you, do something and you're like, okay, he's my creator. If he tells me to do something, I would do it. Sure. So, so it's just, just basically, God is fair. He's not going to put anyone in hellfire. But anyone that ends up in hellfire, they deserve it. So like, again, so like, I suppose this leads on to my next question. Yeah. Would be that like, a lot of what you're saying is obviously... Yeah. I'm so sorry, my mum is calling. Oh, Let me just see what's going on. Yeah. Well, you can ask the question. Send so like, um, like a lot of what you're saying is obviously based on uh, and like and yeah. and a lot of the argument is based within that um, yeah. like structure of what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah. You're saying that with truth because for you obviously um, that is your truth. Yeah. But how would someone who is an atheist like deal with that sense that like a lot of your arguments are based on oh where it says this, it okay. says this, for example. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I didn't, I didn't catch it. What was it? So you're saying that a lot of the arguments are self-contained in Islamic texts. Oh yes, yes, yes. So circular. Atheist. Yeah. Islam is true because the Quran said it's yeah, true. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Exactly that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we, we, we say, for example, there, there are evidences outside the Quran that we can 
true, we can improve. Yeah. Um, but we'll be here for a long time. So there are, like when I looked at Islam, I didn't look just, no, no, no. What I do is I look at things that we deem as, no one else could have known that by God. There are historical accuracies, uh, there are numerical miracles, there are prophecies, which is very interesting. There are stuff that are being said, where it's like, why would Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, make such bold claims? Because he could have just disregarded his whole faith. He's his whole religion. If he was not a man of God, if he wasn't by sent as a prophet, there's things that he said that if it came wrong, his whole message. And he's got hundreds of prophecies and every single one of them came to be. So there's, there's, there's a lot of... And another thing I would say, and it's not fashionable nowadays, uh, but like the prophet himself, who he was as a man. And I think this is it's a, it's a great tragedy that we have experienced in the modern world, that there have been pundits for political reasons who have defamed the Prophet Muhammad and yes. portrayed him in a certain way. But if you have the ability to look at it objectively, who he was as a human being, to me that's one of the biggest reasons why I'm a Muslim. But again, that would be, that, that's from religious scripture. No, no, but this is objectively. No, no, outside, like, you know, they say, oh, your prophet is this, your prophet is that, he's a, a warlord, he's this, and they just take, they, uh, they as, twist scripture. Yeah, as an, as an outsider, to they look at the life time. of the prophet, who he was, and how he dealt with creation, and why he claimed to be a prophet. Because ultimately what's going to happen with the Quran is that, and this is from internal, the Quran claims that this man is a prophet. But his life and what he's done in his life is separate from that. And everyone has access to that, you know, and you can look at how his life was. And I find it's, it's a shame sometimes nowadays that we we have lost the ability to um, put something like character of a human being to scrutiny and, and, and to judge the human being based upon that action. Yeah, the actions is the fruits of what he believed and what he was preaching. This is... Yeah. So where, why would, how would you like, again, I'm, so yeah. I'm, 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 picking, I'm picking apart. No, no, sure. um, so like, you know, you could say that about Jesus, could you not? Yeah. No, not really, because with the Bible, the Bible, they accept that it's corrupted. It's been changed and altered by men. The, the Quran is the only scripture that has been memorized by 15 million people. And we know it from word for word. Word. and we have chains of transmission that go back from my Quran teacher, I have a Quran teacher, that go back to the Prophet Muhammad. We have chains of transmission. We know who's in the chain, we know if he was a reliable person, and we know how the chain is connected. So it's not like Chinese whispers. It's like, imagine I'm here and I come and say, Tom is a very intelligent man. And 15 people will be like, okay, Ali said, Tom is a very intelligible man. Yeah. Now when that's mass, mass that's transcribed, yeah. it has to be a mass conspiracy for that to be a lie. Because 20 people in that specific time are all claiming I said that. So we believe in testimony. How do you know China exists? Did you go and see it? No, but we say, oh, Google, somebody went there, that's testimony. So we have testimony as well, and you guys have testimony. Oh, Big Bang, did you go to the Big Bang and see it? What, what did you mean by, if you could say the same thing about Jesus, like, what do you mean by that? Well, I mean, um, again, I'm not an expert, but yeah. as in like, you know, from, from what is written about him, you know, and historians, uh, you know, they, they, they pretty much know he's a, a real person, and yeah. he did certain actions. We, yeah. we believe so him. You could, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, so you, you can, you can judge, uh, you know, you can say the same thing, you can judge his actions, I think we all agree he was probably a, you know, a good person, etc. Yeah. 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 yeah, so, so so why would, um, you know, why, why is Islam more, um, why does that pull you more than... Oh, okay, yeah, sure. Oh, so like morally, like the thing is... But Jesus is yeah. within our tradition. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, we believe we... Yeah, he's, he is within what we so believe. So you, you just don't believe he's the son of God? No, right? we yeah. believe he's a prophet. Yeah. We don't yeah. believe God has so sons. So there wouldn't be any objection to that. Yeah, yeah. It's just the problem theologically now speaking. If once you start to say he's the God's son, right. that's where we kind of like, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. this is a bit weird. Yeah. But we don't worship human beings to begin with. Yeah. We worship the creator. Yeah. And we don't worship the prophet Muhammad either. Yeah. But he's an example for us to look at how does this book, this book that comes, claims to be from God, how does it manifest in the actual world? And then you look at the life of the prophet. So yes. I invite you to. I need to go. Yeah, you guys know, carry on. It's a very oh, thanks very much. Thank you, Tom. It was a pleasure. Man. Talk, lovely stuff. No problem. Thank you. Much. Thank you very much. Stay here. Look after yourself. It was a pleasure, guys. Look after yourself and try to read Alex. the Quran. We, we have some copies, Tom, of, Tom, but they're Tom, all gone. Tom. But try to get yourself a Quran. Maybe read it. It's up to you. Yeah. Appreciate it. No problem. Thank you. Have a good day. Have a good day. Take it. Guys from Salam Quran. Do I have?